when deploying your application in Azure, spreading instances across regions or availability zones creates network latency, which may impact the overall performance of your application. Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and welcome to the Proximity Placement Group video and let's talk about it, okay? In order to understand this feature of Azure, it is a new feature of Azure, it's a new resource type and it will help you to minimize the network latency by closing the distance between the resources. To understand this feature, we need to understand the architecture. Okay, so let's try to understand that. So let's suppose we have this uh, region. This is our Azure region. Okay. This is our region one. Now inside region, what we have? We got zones, right? So let's suppose this is our zone. Right? Now, inside the region, we, we may have more than one zones, more than two zones. But here, let's suppose we have only two zones. Okay. All right. This is our zone one and this is our zone two. <laughs> okay. Now inside zone, what we have? Any guesses? We got data centers, right? Inside zones, we have data centers. Let's suppose this is DC1. Okay, you, you may have more than one data center inside your availability zone. It totally depends region to region. You could have no regions, no availability zones at all. You could have more than one, more than two. You may find three regions as well. Okay, it all depends geography to geography. And similarly, we have two regions here. Okay. This DC2, DC1 is in the zone one here, and this is in the zone two. All right, till now, I think the architecture is clear. Now, inside DCs, we have our racks, you know, something like this. We got various racks where the hosts are running, okay? Various hosts are running. And come on, what's happening? Okay. Okay. No, don't do that. Don't do that. All right. There is enough. We can make sense out of this as well. Sometimes it acts weird, but I don't know. All right, now it is making sense. Now, now you can see the architecture. We got region inside region. We got zones inside zones. We got data centers inside data center. We got the racks where exactly your host machines are or your hypervisors are running, you know? So whatever VM you are spinning on the Azure portal, it goes inside a region, inside a zone, inside a descent, and one of the racks they are running in. Okay. Now let's suppose, let's take an example. You have this VM right here. This is a VM. 
and for resiliency you want to run the, the these vms inside the availability zone okay all right now how these are going to place we all know for one we gotta put it in this zone and the other one we are going to put in a different zone just like this right okay I need to choose a different color so that we could actually see okay all right now you can see vms that we place in availability zone so that we could have more resiliency uh 99.99 right more than availability set so but what we have to compromise in that situation we gotta compromise this what is this this is the distance between these two zones this is the distance between these two zones and it is almost 100 miles it's not just like kilometers because your data center is spread in the kilometers and your zone there's a difference of at least hundreds of miles between the zones okay so what is happening this thing this distance Will leads to network latency right and it will impact the performance of your application right make sense so let's suppose let's write this down here so that we could relate it at the end without an issue network latency dd distance cool and this latency will impact your application for sure okay are you guys with me till now hope architecture is clear distance concept is clear network latency reason is clear now let's talk about only this the data center okay let me take this data center here oh, not this one comma this one right here okay now this is your data center and inside the data centers we have so many racks here you can see so how the racks are distributed you know the concept of availability set you know the concept of update domain right update domain and fall domain and how they are separated to each other you know inside the same update domain the vms will go under the maintenance together in the fault domain they have the same uh, power source same switches and all so you gotta place the vm in a different you know update domain and default uh, and the fault domain availability set concept now let's put it here let's suppose there is one more machine the machines or vms are here in a b set there could be the possibility okay i'm not saying it happens all the time but there could be the possibility the distance between these okay i need to create one more thing i need to make this as a 
racks so that it will help us to understand these are the racks so let's suppose you have one vm these racks are going back to the kilometers right so maybe your availability set goes to the last one and another one goes to here come on i think something's wrong with my mouse okay the, here right here so you see that make different there is a huge distance between these two as well okay and if you talk about the availability zone it's hundreds of miles of distance leads to network latency leads to the performance of your application you know impacted so in order to fix those kind of issue azure introduce proximity placement group as the name says proximity placement group proximity is all about distance so a proximity placement group is uh, nothing but a logical container which keeps your ma machines your VMs as much as close possible as much close as much possible okay all right so let's see what all this would help us if we opt for proximity placement group all right so if your machines are close together physically together this will increase the performance your latency would be lowest possible okay that's why we've got a place we've got to create the proximity placement group and put our VMs inside proximity placement group so if I need to just say what it is so you need to simply announce or explain this is nothing but a logical grouping okay logical grouping to make sure that Azure machines or compute resources are physically closer as much as possible okay so this is a <clears throat> this is a co-location constant okay so if you place your vms inside the proximity placement group so that means these are already pinned or that these machines should be inside the same co-location same location nearby each other okay now let's understand the benefits okay we know proximity placement groups are useful for workloads where low latency is required now we can achieve this now let's see where or uh, we can utilize this facility can we utilize an availability zone no we cannot because there are hundreds of miles of difference between the zones okay so it simply means you know if you if you could relate just relate it if latency is your first priority put vms in a proximity placement group and the entire solution is an availability zone but if resiliency is your top priority spread your instances across multiple availability zones okay because a single pr proximity placement group cannot 
spun zones you understand it totally depends on the need of your application is it the resiliency is the priority or the latency okay so let's suppose let's see where we can utilize this thing uh, proximity placement where all we can use it so uh, it is low latency if you need between standalone VMs okay now between VMs inside availability sets VMs between VMSS so you can utilize this feature in these situations and you can also use it as like low latency between multiple application tiers using different hardware types for example running the back end using X series in an availability set and the front end on a Y series instances in a scale set in a single proximity placement group okay you can work like that as well if you, if you have if your if your application has uh, you know uh, low latency need you can opt for this design and you can you can also make a DR in a different region okay because in availability set you're already getting 99.95 of uh, availability in zone you get 99.99 you can also opt for the DR in a different region and utilize the proximity placement group here as well as per the architecture perspective okay so uh, I think that's all about the understanding of proximity placement group and let's try to create on the Azure portal in the next video or you can also add the existing machine in the proximity placement groups and you can also create you can also add during the creation there is something which is always important for example <clears throat> for example uh, if you are using uh, availability set or VMSS and you're going to use the proximity placement group so it is always recommended to put the proximity placement group at the resource le level rather than the individual virtual machine level so thank you for watching let's meet in another video where we'll be doing the demo how to create proximity placement group how to add the existing one okay and there is one more thing I forgot I need to mention in the last video we talked about accelerated networking right that is also a feature which decreases this latency hugely and you can use that along with the proximity placement group for the better results if your VM SKUs are not supporting the accelerated networking well still you have something called RSS okay for all other Windows VM using receive side scaling RSS can reach higher maximal throughput that a VM without RSS so you can opt for that feature as well I'll share the link in the description and it will help you thank you for watching